Uh, hi guys, my name is Zen and you're watching Zen Tech and Learning and today I'm back with another video where I will discuss about all the Dell related issues. So generally we, uh, you guys were facing uh, issues with the Dell machine and today I'm going to, I'm going to start this particular uh, tutorial where we will discuss about uh, the Dell machine related issues as well as I will also talk about some technologies uh, like the uh, Windows issues and other kind of issues which comes in the Dell machine. So today, uh, the first issue which I'm going to discuss about, uh, most of you guys uh, are facing an issue with the support assist. Like the generally what happens, the support assist is not working. So this is the support assist. Either you can open it, uh, open it up by clicking here or else you can just type here support assist. When you just type here uh, at the very bottom, uh, left hand side very bottom corner when you type here in the search icon support when you type here support and when you hit the enter so you will see this page so generally what happens in some cases you guys are not uh, getting the application open the support assist application is not opening and the second issue is happening most of you guys uh, are waiting uh, for a long time but it's still nothing happening and some cases the application itself is uh, crashing so in my case, what exactly happened? So if I go to, if I click on this bottom arrow right here, if I come to this page, the application is opening smoothly fine. So generally I cannot perform any task. If I come here, if I want to update the drivers, so generally I will click on update. So when you click here update, it will uh, figure it out. Is there any update for your machine? Did you notice that there was an error message? Let me show you up. So there are these couple of updates which are available for your machine and I think this is a good. But if when I click here, uh, let's suppose I want to update only one driver which is a fingerprint and I selected this one, I click on install. Did you see that? An unexpected error occurred while running this request. So this is generally happens when your application is not running fine. When your application is not running fine then this generally error message popped up on the screen or generally we get the error message while opening the application so if you are guessing uh, if you guys are facing such issue then this is the video for you so in that case what are what are the troubleshooting steps that we need to perform so the first step that you have to perform you have to go to the left hand side very bottom corner in the search icon you need to type here you need to type here support s u p p o r t support when you get this support option after that you have to come on the right hand side after uh, selecting this support assist you have to come at the right hand side you have to click on application setting when you click on application setting you will come up on this page this particular page there are two options two three options that you need to perform the first thing is a terminate you need to terminate all its process. Maybe this application, uh, the last time you opened the application accidentally or unfortunately you did, or, or you did close this application. So if any situation, if your, uh, uh, if your power is off and uh, the battery was not charged and all, all of the sudden the machine was uh, shut down, in that situation, it might happen the application was running in a background and now the next time when you are opening it, uh, opening it up from the beginning, it will not uh, allow you to open. So in that case, what we have to do, we have to just click on terminate. It will terminate all the services. All right, two, three times you have to click on it. So it will terminate all the its associated process. And the second thing you have to click on repair. What it is going to do, it is going to repair the application. If there is anything going wrong with the application, it will repair it up. But don't worry, there will, be, there will not be any crucial data loss. The application, the application setting, and the application configuration will be repaired. All right, it will be like a kind of refreshed. So, uh, the third thing that you need to do, you have to click on reset. What it is going to do? It is going to reset all its operations, all right? So again, it will not uh, make any impact on the data. So these 
two, three steps you need to perform initially and then do not click on uninstall. Otherwise, you have to install it from the starting. If you want to actually want to install from the, uh, from the very initial steps, I can also uh, make a video on it and I will let you know how to install the support assist for your machine. All right, so after that, what you have to do, you have to just refresh it up one or two times like this. And then you have to come at the bottom and then just, just type your support and hit the enter. All right. When you hit the enter, the application is opening. It's perfect. In some cases, it uh, may or may not open also. All right. So after that, you have to click on update. It might take a few seconds. OK, again, I noticed that there was an error message, unexpected. All right, let's see. Let's update one driver again. Let's click on uninstall. Again, unexpected error occurred while running this particular operation. So again, the problem is not fixed. The second step that you need to follow, it's a very important step. So please do not skip the video. So for that, what you have to do, you need to come at the left-hand side again, and then you need to type services. You need to type services, all right. And then you have to just hit the Enter. When you hit the enter, after that, you have to scroll it down a little bit, scroll it down, scroll it down, scroll it down. So you need to look for the service, which is a Dell client management service. Uh, here we go. We got it. So client management service, you have to select it and then right click on it. When you right click, then just click on properties. When you click on properties, just go to the uh, startup type and click on automatic or you can select this one also automatic or automate or automatic uh, delayed so either one you can select it and then click on apply and then click on ok when you click on ok again you have to click here start so now this service was disabled basically in a background in some cases, it happens, like maybe you updated any drivers or anything goes wrong. So automatically, the service gets a disabled. And this service is basically uh, is uh, used in all the Dell operations. So this is a very crucial service. If this service is not enabled on your machine, then a couple of Dell services will not be working, like support assisted, driver updates, all kind of things. So this is very important steps. Now, let's come back and uh, let's do one thing, just to restart the machine, because we just, uh, you know, restart the service. So it will come in effect if you restart your machine. All right, uh, it might take for a while. We got the Dell icon. Now, we got it, the Dell icon. All right. We just have to log in. All right. So we are back again. All right, and now we need to just open the support assist application here. Support assist application, we have to hit the enter. And then the application is opening right now. All right. It might take a few seconds, so we have to wait a little bit. And then let me close it. Uh, support assist uh, home PCs, uh, loading PC optimization. Now we have to ensure that uh, the services are running fine. We need to go to the services again and, uh, and after that we have to check uh, the client management, uh, Dell client management service is running or it is a stop. No, it is running fine. Do you see that the status is running? All right, now everything is uh, done. Now let's go back to the support assist. Now it's working fine. It's opening it up as uh, usual and 
now let's uh, click on update checking for updates so there will be uh, you know the 5 to 10 updates available for your machine in your case it might be different uh, you might have numbers of updates or you might have two three updates so that you have to check this out now checking for updates uh, it might take for a while all right so I have multiple updates for my machine and uh, now let's uh, uncheck and let's uh, check this fingerprint one let's click on install all right it's uh, working fine so this is the fix for the support assist issue and I hope you guys like this video and if you like this video if you, this video was pretty much helpful for you so please do like the video and subscribe our channel and if you have any issues related to Dell PC or HP machine do mention in the comment section and we'll definitely help you for all your issues thank you so much guys for watching this video and we'll see you in the next video bye bye take care